Good morning, and uh, this is JW Sura USA, and uh, live from Minnesota, USA. Well, this is the Outback. I want to guys give you guys uh, a, a review on the Outback power system. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Well, if you guys just watch. Uh, Another episode of my um, new classic. This is the Outback. Outback Flex Max 60. We are making power here in Minnesota right now. The sun just kicks in. It was really cloudy when I made the video for um, the Midnight Solar. Um, and the Midnight Solar was kicking. Because it was cloudy, the sun wasn't out. Right now, you guys just saw um, the sun came out. That video was around 8 o'clock. Uh, so approximately, I think it's 8.30 or something. And um, the midnight solar was working, was doing the job. And um, I decided to switch so and see how the outback can handle it like I was saying just doing tests and all to make sure that my equipment all work this is not like a, a competition it's not like uh, trying to uh, this this machine or that machine this is just um, test and this is my hobby this is my thing I love doing this I love playing with machine just like other people I like to uh, 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 manipulate machines I like to trick them I will make sure that they work I like to put them on hard work and this is another day again for that look at those amps coming in 8.67 amps 4.2 amps coming from the solar array we are sitting at 55 54 volt PV coming in we're on a bulk mode well the batteries are happy not that really 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 sunny but I'll take you outside and take a look and make a judgment for yourself okay and this is the weather outside and uh, see how it is I don't know if you guys can see but yeah it's not that great but you know what we are kicking power We're making the power look at that see all overcast, all those weird, weird, weird look. Look. And uh, it's cold outside. And um, the panels really like it when it's cold. Well, I'm freezing myself here. I gotta get back in. Well, this is the current temperature from outside. Well, for other folks, for international, this is just uh, in, in Fahrenheit, it's not Celsius. See that? So, it's going to be going up. They said um, weather is going to be nice. So, the indoor is 72 degrees and out, uh, outdoor is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it's remotely... Um, um, sending me signal direct from outside so that I can able to see it can see all humidity and all that kind of stuff it's a cool machine this is really cool it's really cool if you have if you have time make sure grab one at the store and make use of it and again I want to introduce you to new guys right here um, as you guys some of you guys are following my channel you know, I like to grow my crop too. You know, I do solar and not just the solar. You want to be green. You have to be green. You have to eat healthy. You're going to look good. You want to make sure you survive. These are sweet peppers right here. Big sweet peppers. See that? Ah, I think uh, if you can read that right there. So this pretty soon, they're going to be going outside. It's not time for planting yet here in Minnesota because this state is cold. We have so much so much snow a lot of snow oh boy the system just uh the refrigerators and freezers just recycle so that means the battery is going to be topped off 
and I've been running them all night yesterday. We're still sitting at 93 on uh, if you look at the, uh, the video I just made with the, um, the, the classic. So anyway, these are onions right here. Uh, I grew these onions. Um, what's the date again? The date's supposed to be just like a, a, a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. Look at that. They're growing so fast. Fast, 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 fast. This is gonna be trans, gonna be transplanted outside soon. See that? It's not bad at all. Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you know, um, my chest freezer, which is uh, it's not an um, energy star, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna only be burning uh, twenty-three dollars. A year on that here we go say the estimated uh, uh, um, power consumption yearly is supposed to be 194 kilowatt hours and uh, the total is supposed to be $23 a year see that still have the sticker on it and I was looking for energy star but uh, my freezer went down and um, I don't want to ruin my food I already have there since I harvested last year for my garden. I've been I've been munching my f uh, food I made uh, I grew from last year, and up to now I'm I'm really sustainable sustainable right here. And um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. You guys can see I still have my green peppers all chopped up and everything, you know greens and whatever is still there it's ready to go you know when i make a sush kebab then i can just go ahead barbecue make some stuff hey, it's there you gotta take care of yourself with good stuff you know not just making power but you have to develop your develop yourself in different ways like this you know growing your stuff do your thing you know shout out to all subscribers my friends out there have their garden you know all over all over the world everywhere united states um australia canada um africa europe you name it i'm proud of you guys i'm happy for you guys because we are heading to the right track here if you take a look there's some um, seeds right there those are really really hot peppers those are jalapenos you know, when I buy peppers, I, I, t I tend to split them open and take the seeds out and preserve them. If I like those kind of spice or anything I like and preserve them. And when time comes for growing, I grow my stuff first. I do the nursery in the house and later transplant it outside. So if you like this video, make sure uh, you subscribe and thumbs up to the channel. And uh, if you like it, well... Pass it on to other people so that at least they can able to um, utilize it. And if it's educational, inspiring to you, do it as well, okay? Well, as you guys seen outside, I was showing you the weather. Well, the outback is kicking. It's bringing 270 uh, kilowatts in the system, right? The batteries are si sitting at 26.4 volt, 9.6 amps. To the batteries and 4.8 4.9 wow coming from the solar ray so this is awesome this is telling me that the system is working my work is paying off my design is working and i want my subscribers my viewers people that don't even um think um um they're gonna go they still uh, uh uh the procrastinators that solar doesn't work or maybe i'm waiting for last minute i'm waiting for good deal this is the best time to do it you know if you don't start you would never start you know don't just stay on viewing videos and look at other people's work try it just try buy one panel buy one charge controller you know, try that. If you want to just do a grid tie, do a grid tie. If you want to think the batteries are expensive, don't worry about the batteries. One at a time. You're not racing with nobody. You're not racing with nobody. Just do what you got to do. 
Just do what you're going to do. Nobody, you don't have to uh, 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 report to nobody. You don't have to um, answer to nobody. Just go ahead and do your thing. And uh, if the time you feel comfortable, you want to step out, you want to come up to the world, you want to show us your system, feel free to do that. Nobody is tying you, nobody is questioning you till you put your system out there and uh, you invite people and that's the time you're going to be having questions and other people want to know and how you do, uh, how your system working. It doesn't mean they're attacking you, they just want to know, maybe they enjoy your, your work. And uh, that's the time you're going to show them exactly what you did. That's the time right there. It's 9.55, April 4th, Monday. The house is uh, 73 degrees 